guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you guys how to do a braid ponytail with braiding hair i already washed my hair detangled it and blow dried it i would have done this hair without blow drying my hair but the last time i did it like that it was pretty like obvious like you could see my natural hair in the braiding hair because it was curly and it kept reverting back to its like curly pattern and it just didn't really match the braiding hair so i was like let me blow dry it this time so i like halfway blow dried my hair so that it could blend a little bit better but for this style you're going to need a soft bristle brush a hard bristle brush an edge brush a comb to part your hair a detangling comb some scrunchies you're gonna need some eco styler gonna need some edge booster you're gonna need some got to be glue freezing spray and then you're gonna need some mousse you can really use any mousse but this is the mousse that I use right here um I have a different kind of mousse but I don't like the smell of it I really hate the smell of this mousse too but it smells better than the other one so I'm gonna use this one you're going to need some bobby pins. I have long and short. I don't have that many left, but it really doesn't matter. It just depends where you're at in your hair on which one you use. You're going to need a scarf to tie down your hair. And you're also going to need some, well, this is optional. If you want some clips to put in your hair, you can use those. So I have some. And then, of course, you're going to need some braiding hair. The braiding hair I'm going to be using is Expressions Pre-Stretched Premium Ultra Braid 3X. And it's the 52 inch length. I don't know. I had this hair. This was hair left over from when I got my hair done one time. So, But I've done it with this hair before and it works pretty good. You definitely want to try and get a pre-stretched one because it's way easier to work with. And I have it in the color 1B, but it really doesn't matter what color. It just matters of what color your hair is. But yeah, I definitely recommend the pre-stretch. And I am going to use this whole pack. I'm going to use this whole pack of hair because I am going to be extending the braid so that it can be longer. So yeah. And this was $6 at the beauty supply. So you may have to spend a little bit more. But if you get like the 99 cent pack, it's not going to be as long and it's not going to be pre-stretched. So just keep that in mind but anyways let's get into this video okay so you're gonna start this style off as if you were doing like a normal sleek bag so right now i'm just parting my hair and getting the part exactly where i want it So now I'm going to go in with some of my Eco Styler and then I'm going to go in with some Edge Booster on top of that to start slicking my hair down. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to alternate between a hard and soft bristle brush. If you want a more detailed tutorial on how I actually do my slick bags, you can check out the video I made. The link is going to be in the description.
So now I'm going in with some edge booster and my edge brush to actually slick down my edges before I put my scarf on. I'm gonna go in with some got to be glued free spray and spray that all over my hair to ensure that my hair stays in place and actually sets pretty quickly so now you're just gonna go ahead and wrap your hair and you're gonna let this sit for at least 30 minutes but you can also let it sit overnight or however long you want to do it but you want to make sure that it sits for at least 30 minutes so that it has time to dry before you start the braid So with the hair, you actually want to like kind of try and make a loop around it with the scrunchie so that when you put it on, you can put it on top of your hair and it can be really secure with the scrunchie. So right now, I'm just putting it on top of my ponytail. You don't want it underneath. You want it on top because when you braid, you want the braiding hair to be on top, not your real hair. So this next step is completely optional. I did this step because I wanted an extended braid. So therefore, I'm going to take that last portion of hair, split it into two, and I'm just going to sit it to the side. And I already had a piece of extra hair already out to wrap around my ponytail at the end. But you want to make sure you already have this out before you start braiding because you don't want to have to stop your braid, pick up the hair, section it. It's just going to cause you to like unravel your braid and it won't work out. So have it out before so now I'm just gonna start braiding my hair as normal there's nothing special you really do once you have the braiding hair on top of your hair you just braid like normal you just braid everything together like normal but you want to make sure that you have three sections and make sure everything is parted out evenly before you start braiding
I'm now adding in my first piece of hair and what you're gonna do when you're adding in hair is you're just gonna take the piece you're adding in lay it up against the braid and start braiding like normal it's fairly simple to do this was actually my first time adding in hair and I got it on the first try it's very simple to do just braid like normal once you put the hair up against the braid So you're now gonna take that last piece of hair you had sitting out to actually wrap your ponytail. It's gonna cover up the scrunchie and it's also gonna create a base for your hair. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a scrunchie and you're gonna do it the same exact way you did it with the hair that you already braided and then you're gonna put it on top of the braid. So once you get the hair on top of the braid, you're just going to go ahead and start wrapping the hair around the base of the braid in one motion until you get to the end.
Once you get close to the end, you're gonna start spraying some Gatsby glue free spray to actually secure everything and get it to stick together. And then once you finish wrapping the entire thing, you're gonna spray Gatsby glue free spray all over the base to ensure that it holds. I'm now just pulling apart the braid to ensure that it all looks even and I'm going to go ahead and take some scissors and cut away all of the flyaways. I'm now taking some mousse and I'm going to put it all over the braid to control frizz. So now I'm taking some more Gatsby Glue Free Spray and I'm just going to kind of rub it up against the end of the braid to ensure that it sticks together. But I'm also getting ready to actually dip my braid in some boiling water to ensure that it's more flexible rather than stiff and to ensure that the ends are sealed. Once you dip your hair, you're going to be done with this style. It should be nice and slick and it should be a lot more flexible than it was before you dipped it. That's going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be back with more videos. Bye!